What is going on? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through a full day of eating. So I've done for a full day of eating in the past and when I typically do a full day of eating and it's in the context of fat loss or get ready for a show. It's going to be a different full day of eating because tomorrow, this I'm recording this on a Saturday, tomorrow is going to be my biggest run ever. Uh, we are doing a 30 mile run uh, tomorrow to get ready for the ultra marathon that we're doing in about four weeks as of today, which is the Behind the Rock Mojave, Utah. So I thought it would be good good idea uh, to kind of just record or to let you guys know how I prepare uh, into some nutrition how I go about my nutrition or I'm trying to fuel uh, for the ultra marathon that's going to be going down in uh, in three weeks and later on in this video I'm going to be taking you guys through my gear my full list of gear that I'm going to be wearing tomorrow because essentially tomorrow's 30 mile run is a dry run it's a test run for uh, to test my gear to test my food and not only I'm going to be going through the food also that I'm going to be eating today and when, when we are doing the 30 mile run tomorrow I'm going to be taking you guys to what the nutrition is going to be looking like. So it's going to be different for me because I've never used to run in and eating solid foods. When I run, it's typically a gel or some sort of hydration uh, formulation that we take with me on a run. But in this case, I need to start training with solid food. In case you don't know if you do ultra marathons, hygiene speaking, you want to get the goal is to get as much calories in as much as possible without giving any sort of stomach upset because that's going to carry you throughout the, throughout the run. So tomorrow I'm going to be testing the food that sits well, the food that doesn't sit well. So I'm going to be showing you guys a list of the snacks I'm carrying with me that I'm going to be taking with me to make sure, um, you know, we have the right food. Once on race day, we're not taking a guess. We know exactly the foods I'm going to bring in with me to allow me to perform to the best of my ability. So full day of eating, uh, showing the snacks I'm going to be uh, taking with me and taking you guys through the 30 mile run tomorrow too. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video. If you're new to the channel, just find this video for the first time, stick around and click the subscribe button and give this video a like just to help us out with the algorithm. Let's get into the video. But before we get into the meals that we are going to be consuming today, I want to take you guys through the running, uh, the stack of what we are going to be taking. So we have the strong multivitamins here. We have the strong omegas. We have the strong joints. Um, by the way, I am not sponsored by BPN anymore. I do not work with BPN anymore, unfortunately. Uh, but again, like I say to you guys all the time, when I decide to work with a company, I'm working with the company solely because obviously the culture of the company and they make good products. They still make good products, even though I'm not working with the company anymore. I still use some of the products. So for you guys to know, in case I start working with another company, you know that is the you know the prism. Uh, how I look at the companies that I work for, work with in the future, make your products and do uh, does my view align with the company itself. So these are the main stack right here. And because we're running tomorrow, we wanna make sure we're top of our electrolytes. And this is the homie, uh, Jeremy. Us company, switch back electrolytes. I've talked about this all the time. I love this. This has been hands down one of my favorite electrolytes in terms of taste. The flavor is the orange stream. It is amazing. Anytime I mix this at work, people will be like, whoa, what's that smell? That smells really good. It smells really good, tastes really good, and it does wonders for the body. And one of the new things that I've been testing in the last week or so, so I can't really give you a review or how, you know, if it, if it, if it works or not, it's, um, I've been, I just started taking this about two days ago. Essentially, it's a turmeric uh, extract. And if you don't know what turmeric does, uh, turmeric uh, help is a spice. Um, it helps when it comes to like you know bringing down inflammation. If you have arthritis, it might be something that you, you want to I maybe mean, add some turmeric into your supplementation or seasoning or in you know, daily consumption. It's definitely known or shown to help when it comes to inflammation. Of course, running a lot, you know, you build up a lot of inflammation. And I'm trying, you know, anything I can do to reduce that inflammation to put me in a position where I can definitely recover faster, I'm gonna be taking that. And that is the reason why we are testing this out. So um, typically it's a 15 uh, ml and I'm gonna pour some water in here and I'm gonna chuck this. I try, I mean, it doesn't taste or it tastes as bad as it looks, I promise you. Uh, it actually almost doesn't have that much of a taste to it, so, which is great. Oh, that's Jess, that's my wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take this down and uh, I'm gonna show you meal one. Right, so the first meal that we are gonna be having is uh, two and a half servings of uh, Kodiak pancakes and I'm using the uh, birthday cake flavor here and we have 300 grams of egg white here because protein is still important. So so yeah, I'm gonna be having that. Uh, this serving right is 25 grams of carbs and we're looking at about 28 grams of protein in this. So if you're looking at a way to get your protein up again, uh, definitely uh, try some Kodiak cakes, not sponsored. And we're gonna add some eggs and we're gonna chow this down and gonna go do some work. And I'll be 
catching you guys up on the next meal. Man, I will tell you, so normally uh, today, I'm recording this video on a Saturday, and normally a day like this is typically, my Saturdays are my longer run days, like I mentioned in previous videos, talking about my full training week. But today, because I'm skipping the run today, and or I'm not skipping, but I'm pushing it to tomorrow, I definitely feel a level of anxiousness and that I'm just waiting, because normally Saturday is like one day like, ah, oh, got the long run over, then I can just chill and get ready for the following week. But because I have that long run kind of just looming in the back of my head, I am <laughs> I'm living in a, a little bit of an anxious anxious state, but um, it is what it is. We're gonna show up and do our best. But anyways, I'm gonna take you guys through what my running gear uh, for uh, the day out uh, tomorrow is gonna be looking like. So this is just gonna be straight up essentials, uh, critical things that I need that I need to test out just to make sure how my body is gonna be adapting and using it, and then we can go from there and dive in a little more deeper. And after that, I'm going to be taking you guys to what the nutrition piece is going to be looking like. So as I was recording uh, the last clip that you guys just saw, uh, the doorbell rang because I've been waiting before this. Um, it's going to be part of my gear that I'm going to carry with me when I'm running because, again, I'm trying to bring you guys along on this journey with me. And uh, I invested in the DJI Pocket 3 Osmo. So I've been wanting to get this for a while. But I mean, my right now, my YouTube search uh, videos, literally reviews and, you know, uh, pros and cons of uh, getting it. But from all the things that I've seen so far, the pros always the cons, especially for the things that I'm doing, for the content I'm creating for you guys. So for investing in the content, for trying to go over and beyond to get along with me, give this video a thumbs up if you're watching the video and if you're enjoying this video so far. So now, Let's get into the main running gear. So starting from head to toe, I'm gonna to be rocking the CLE hat tomorrow. It's supposed to be nicer tomorrow around 15 degrees. I don't think I'll need any beanie. And um, the watch that I'm gonna be wearing that I've been wearing all along, it's the Garmin uh, Phoenix 6 Pro. Um, I'm thinking about switching into the chorus just because I test, I used this last year while pacing uh, the homie uh, Dan Ross runner and the watch died. Um, I charged it fully charged from my 630 uh, the night before and I paced him throughout the night till about 7 30 in the morning and I passed it on to the next pacer because they didn't have a watch and the watch died on him in about an hour so it's still pretty fairly long and this should definitely take me throughout the 50 mile because it's not a hundred mile that might take like you know 20 more than 24 hours so but I think eventually I'm going to cross over the course or maybe just like a different brand of Garmin that can uh, last a little bit longer uh, in terms of battery life. Uh, let me know if you guys are ultra runners out there and you know some of the some of the, watch, some of the watches that you guys use that lasted you longer. Um, yeah, I'm open for um, some suggestions. Uh, so that, but the watch we are going to be wearing is going to be the Garmin Phoenix 6 Pro. And uh, I have not ran in this. I actually just got this yesterday. This is going to be the vest that I'm going to be carrying with me. I'm not sure I have to look at the, uh, I have to look at the requirements uh, for the things that you have to bring uh, because yes, they have a list of uh, required things that you have to have on you while you run. Uh, I believe uh, some sort of water pack is definitely essential just because it might be, it's gonna be hot. They want you to have some sort of water system with uh, with you. So I have the Nathan uh, pack here. And on the side, we have a soft flask, 25 ounce soft flask on, the, on each side. And we have a nice little compartment to put uh, any other like, you know, necessary valuable things that I need to put in here that I need with me. So we are rocking the Nathan. Um, this is extra large and I tried it on. It felt a little bit, small, a little bit smaller. So we'll see how that feels tomorrow uh, during the run. Uh, but I think it should be enough for me, again, for 50 mile, but I think 100 miler, uh, we'll see how that how varies. So I guess this next one is not really uh, what I consider a gear, but a necessity, so to speak. So I snagged the uh, squirrel nut butter like a couple of weeks ago. And the reason why, you know, I've never had any chafing um, issues, but I ran in Chicago like a few vlogs ago. Actually, the first episode of the ultra marathon, I mentioned in that vlog that, you know, I had some chafing problems. So I had to cut the mouth short. Uh, instead of doing 16, I ended up doing 15. So um, I already experimented with this. I definitely liked it. Um, and I also experimented, if you don't have um, an anti-chafing ointment like this, uh, what I tried before that worked was uh, Old Spice deodorant, just something to, you know, glide down there. And it keeps your balls smelling fresh too. And jumping into the pair of socks that I've been wearing. So I've been testing this, uh, I guess you can call it like a finger socks, out the last uh, couple of weeks. Uh, so this, um, one of the, uh, uh, it's called so uh, soft sock right here 
and a company reached out to me a couple of weeks ago. Um, don't worry, this, I mean, I'm gonna get a discount code. I would love to give you a discount code, but I think I would love for you guys to support them because I think I really love them. And again, if you have somebody that's got like, you know, maybe you chafe uh, or you have blisters and have like an individual sort of like, you know, uh, opening for your toes might be better. So your feet is not gonna be gliding against each other. And one thing I learned from Sally McRae or watching some of her um, journey is, uh, makes sense, uh, right? But at the same time, you don't wanna show to a race with like you know fresh pair of socks uh, so what i've been doing the last few weeks is sending a couple of pairs so i've been wearing this pretty much everywhere so i can wear them down and when it's come race time i can definitely put them on so i've been running with this i like them no issues at all if you're not used to wearing socks that has individual toe spacings and things like that it might feel weird at first but definitely uh something to highly recommend uh, i'll put a link in the description i don't have any code but i think it's just a veteran owned company small company that i want to support and i like them so if you want to support if you want to try them out I'll put a link in the description for you guys to check it out. Okay, jumping into the most important piece of gear that you will need, which is the shoes. I mean, you can run naked all you want, shirtless, with shirt or without shirt, but at the end of the day, you need a pair of shoes that's very reliable, that's tested, that you like. So if you know me, and I talk about this in a few videos, uh, the shoes that I've been running is the Fresh Foam 1080 X More uh, from New Balance, as you can see. Uh, moving on this one, uh, but, the threading has been <laughs> worn out. So I've had, I've logged about 500 miles in these shoes already, and hands down, it's one of my favorite shoes, just because again, as a bigger guy, as a 215 pound dude running, um, I need that cushion. And one, I'll do a full video on, you know, shoe recommendation for you guys, but I need that cushion when I run. So I like this, and wouldn't you know that they make the trail version of the new balances. Uh, so with the vibrant soles. So the shoes I'm gonna be wearing is gonna be the Fresh Foam X More, uh, the V4s trail running shoes with the vibrant soles. Again, all shoes, I think all most tra trail shoes have vibrant soles on them. So I've been run. I mean, I got this two weeks ago, so I've been running in these. So by the time the uh, ultra comes around, it's gonna be about six weeks uh, that I've you know, had with this shoe, broken it, I've been breaking them into a nice little uh, reinforcement on the toe here. And I got the, this is a 12 and a half wide. And again, or the longer you run, uh, that your feet tend to swell. So I just wanna make sure I'm not like feeling like constricted and actually feels really nice on my feet. So that is the full gear that I'm gonna be rocking on tomorrow's 30 mile run. And diving into the uh, feel for the run tomorrow. So a um, majority of the feel, what I'm testing out is gonna be snacks, right? Uh, solid food, intro workout, intro run snacks. And I already talked about like the meals that I normally have before run anyways. And that meal typically is the meal that I would normally would have on runs are peanut butter, uh, banana, uh, bread, sea salt, and honey to stock my run and wash it down with some uh, 40 grams of uh, cluster dextrin and uh, some electrolytes. But in this case, again, for each every uh, 10 miles or so, um, I'll be trying out some snacks. So what we have here, just based on how I feel, uh, we have some honey stinger right here, uh, salted caramel. I've tried this, this is absolutely, absolutely awesome. So we have 140 calories right there and we have pop tarts. Again, this is very uh, readily available, uh, sugar, um, carbs for you. Uh, this 400 calories, you're looking at 140 grams of carbs. So this might be, you know, a game changer. And of course we have some small snack here, some rice crispy and again um, we got some uh, nature bars uh, and we have some little bite uh, muffins and truth be told this this little container right here these are my kids like snack box so essentially I'll be taking uh, what my girls uh, typically have for their snack with the exception of of course like you know honey stinger because they are not cheap and I don't think that's something that uh, I'm willing to you know get them for you know just like a daily snack so that is what the potential uh, meal or intra workout uh, intra run meal is going to be looking like tomorrow and again of course we'll see how I feel tomorrow that would dictate how you know what we actually eat I mean what we eat make sure you stay tuned to the rest of the video so you can see exactly what that run looks like or what the nutrition uh, fueling looks like and uh, yeah so I'm gonna get back to do some client check-ins real quick and I'll be showing you guys what the next meal 
is going to be looking like shortly. So jumping into the second meal of the day, I actually had one of these um, honey uh, stingers earlier while I was doing some client work. Um, so we have, uh, if, you, if you guys have been following for a while, you know this is a staple in my daily uh, nutritional consumption. Uh, so we have two all eggs uh, with four egg whites, turkey, cinnamon swirl bread, and some laughing cow cheese in there. And we have some popcorn uh, chips right here. I did not measure it. I just <laughs> took a handful of it. And we have a second water that we are ticking down today. So I'm going to knock this down, get back to some client work, and I'm going to be showing you what the next meal is. All right. So um, right now it is pretty, pretty late. It's about 9.19 right now. So uh, the last meal that I had, I'm going to put on the screen for you guys, was a steak, a teriyaki marinated steak that I normally get for my target. And I paired that with some jasmine rice. That's what I had. And I'd be snacking on some crackers and all the like carby, like the sources. Um, so that's the two meals. So the, I'm not really going to be stressing the meal because I feel grateful right now. I don't want my stomach to be full to the point where I'm just spending, you know, the rest of the morning just <laughs> trying to clear the, uh, the chamber all morning. But my point, uh, the reason why I'm not stressing about only having three meals and not like, you know, packing my, my meals with like ton of carbs is because one, it's a slow run. I can stop, uh, meaning every five, six, seven, you know, eight miles or so have some calorie in me. Unlike if it's like a marathon training, for instance, when I'm trying to hit a certain mile time um i'll be stressing you know trying to get as much calories in so i'm gonna stop right here just because i feel like i'm just gonna force in it my stomach is already kind of just feeling full it's uh, another thing that i'm noticing since uh, the training for this ultra marathon is my appetite is not really as high as I would expect it to be, uh, given the amount of mileage that I'm running. Uh, let me know in the comment if you experienced something similar to that, or you started running more, and all of a sudden your appetite is not really like, not like always like hungry. You find yourself kind of forcing yourself to eat a little bit. Um, yeah, that's just, you know, something strange that I've noticed uh, since running more. But anyways, I'm gonna set up, um, get all my shit ready for, uh, for tomorrow. So for tomorrow, I'm getting up at five o'clock in the morning, head to Forest Park here in St. Louis. And to get after this 30 mile run and the homie Max will be joining with me too, which is super fucking exciting because it's typically my guy that kind of just make sure I'm okay, get some content for you guys too. So I'm super excited about that. See you in the morning. All right. Uh, so it is the next morning. Uh, we are again, then started here a little bit later uh, than anticipated, but nonetheless, we are getting the ball rolling. Um, 30 miles. So uh, what I've had today, uh, this morning, I had some peanut butter, some toast, uh, sea salt and honey this morning uh, and I washed that down with some um, 40 grams of uh, cluster dextrins and I'm actually sampling a little bit of something else uh, two by four uh, two, I mean two before uh, black current it's essentially uh, it's a vasodilator just to you know keep the blood flow uh, going uh, for the run today uh, but yeah um, is that a steroid uh, I will leave that to the public to figure out um, it is whatever you think it is. Um, it's a performance enhancing supplement <laughs> that you can get from Walmart. It's enlargement. No, I'm not comparing. <laughs> we're not comparing. We're not comparing. We're not comparing dicks this morning. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's been a while since Max and I recorded. I think Max is a little too excited. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so uh, we got the Tiger Bomb that we are going to be rubbing over again. Just tell me you're old without telling me you're old. Um, especially if you are living in a very cold spot also, this is a game changer. Um, keeps you warm. And I learned that from uh, football players that played in Green Bay. And I'm like, oh yeah, talking about it. it actually works. And of course, it kind of keeps things nice and loose also today. And the bag of goodies that I mentioned in previous videos, we are gonna be having this. Um, but yeah, stretch, get after it, 30 miles. Here we go. Something I didn't talk about is so here are two bladders, uh, 20 ounces uh, on two on both bladders here. Uh, so I have 20 grams of, of carbs and I have a thousand milligrams of sodium in each that I'll be sipping on uh, while we're going. And also, of course, I have the gels that we are going to be using the human gel and the uh, martini gel that we are gonna, I'm going to put in my vest. So the only cool thing about having a vest again also is we have compartments, you can just put a bunch of shit on it. So but yeah, it's new for me. It's something we're trying. Again, this is a test run. It's a dry run uh, for the gear, for how we're going to be packing while we're running, just to make sure we have everything that we need. And uh, yeah, excited.
All right, so we are 8.6 miles in out of 30 and we're making a pit stop. So the trail um, is gonna have, um, for the first uh, main station, you're gonna be six miles in and the next one's gonna be 13 miles in. So it's kind of around the same area. So I'm uh, figuring out how I'm gonna navigate that, what I'm gonna be having on each eight, eight station. So here I'm just stopping, mixing some Tailwind, which is um, uh, got 12 grams of carbs and uh, tons of electrolyte in it and topping off my pack here. And uh, the first meal that I'm gonna be having, I'm gonna try the uh, Nature Valley a granola bar and a stinger as my meal. Because again, when you get to the air station, you're gonna have lots of foods. And what you wanna do, you just wanna make sure you're eating some food, just to give you enough energy uh, to carry on to. Another thing that I'm gonna do before we get back running again is to, I'm, I know they're not gonna have this, but again, because I have it right here. If they do, I'm gonna use it just to loosen up um, the uh, soft tissue. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lose the shirt. Uh, just because, again, it's getting hot. Uh, like I said, um, it's gonna be warmer as the day goes by. So I'm trying to make sure, uh, you know, and I know in the back of my head, I'm putting a note down saying, okay, I'm gonna bring your t-shirt or tank top with me and a long sleeve just to change into if it gets hot. So it's getting warmer today. It's obviously up uh, about 70 something degrees today. So, and Mojave in the desert, it's cold at night and warms up as the day goes by so massage roll stretch hydration pack food and get back to it and one big thing i'm not trying to also do is i'm not stopping my watch because i want to have a realistic time of what it feels like to because they don't stop a watch for you when you get to the station <laughs> you see the, the clock is ticking so obviously i don't want to i'm not planning on taking too much time at each aid station i want to be have an idea of how long it's gonna take me to finish the 30 mile and have an idea of how long it's gonna take me to finish the whole thing. So yeah, a lot of uh, trial and error today. So get that done. And like the official sponsor for most like ultras that I see. So it's kind of nice I'm sampling with some Tailwind just to see how, I don't wanna jinx myself, but I don't have a sensitive stomach, which is a great, a great thing. I'm definitely getting some experience or reliving some experience here because I remember uh, Rasa Rana. 160 calories, 140, about 300 calories, 20 grams, 20 grams, so roughly about 400, 500 calories, possibly between now and the next A station, which is gonna be 13 miles. We are 16 and a half miles in, more than halfway through. It's getting to that point of the run, knock on wood. I'm not hurting. I'm just ready to get this shit over with. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to be disciplined enough to know that um, not to push it and bunk out the last 10 miles because I want to get it over with. Right now doesn't mean I should forget, stay disciplined. <laughs> uh nutrition wise i haven't stopped so technically there's another eight station about 13 miles in uh which i should have stopped and grabbed some food but again i just want to get over with but so far the food the solid food that i ate that's still holding strong so about to finish this loop i time we finish this loop it'll put us a little over 21 miles and that will give me an opportunity to get more solid foods in replenish my water hydration but right now more than gel, a little bit of caffeine, a little pick me up, should get us to the car. All right, finished the run, the longest run of my life. Uh, 30 miles in five hours, 39 minutes and 51 seconds at a pace of 11 20 man that was the longest five miles of my fucking life uh but we got it done um there's a lot of thoughts that i think i feel like it should be a separate video that went through this run as it should be because it's fucking 30 miles and there's a lot of shit just babbling going back and forth but this is what this is what i will leave you with right um because max even echoed that when we were talking and uh what max essentially said was or what i typically say is like my man i think mile 22 I'm like this shit is hard man it's like 
I mean, it's 22 miles. Like, that shit is hard. So, um, but yeah, we got through it, you know. But I think the coolest part of um, all, I mean, everything is, this is the milestone. And the fact that I know I get over this milestone, the next mile, longer mile that I'm going to be doing, it's going to be another milestone, another milestone. It's a base for more milestones to go as long as I keep showing up and doing the work. Um, but if this is hard and you're like, oh, yeah, man, like, you know, you know, that's it. I will never know what that next step is if I just stop. And I think that's one of the things that I was, you know, getting through uh, throughout that run is, yep, it's hard. It's supposed to be hard. It should be hard. Uh, and but this is how you build toughness. You don't build a toughness by sitting on the couch. You don't build toughness by you know, just wishing, you know, <laughs> you were tougher, uh, wish, wishing you were resilient. Uh, the only way through resiliency is through work, through resistance. And resistance comes from doing shit that's fucking hard. So, um, try run is good. A recap. Um, Solid foods. I think I have the idea of like the food choices that I'm going to be taking with me. I'm going to be experimenting with the work. And I think overall, my stomach really does well, especially with a 50 miler. 100 miles or so, I think then we will start, you know, must have some effects there because it's just a longer, it will be longer than five, five hours. But as far as the 50 mile goes, I think um, I, I figure out the food sources and, you know, granola. Um, any food really, anything that has calories in it, I think uh, my stomach should be should be fine. Like I don't, my stomach is not really that sensitive. Uh, so that's one something I have going on for me. But yeah, liquid calories, solid, solid calories, a lot of electrolytes, uh, I think should be fine. It is hot, it's like 70 something degrees. We started this run at like 39 degrees. So that was a big jump. So I'm glad I finished and there's no cramping. Um, again, shout out to the hydration that I've been doing the last few days. Everything turned out pretty good. So solid effort. I'm sure this video is already long as it is and I don't want to draw it out too long. I'm going to cap it here. Yeah, that's the video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I think somebody made a comment in the last video that I saw, that I that was posted and just, you know, my rationale along i know i said the video's over but my rationale uh, when it comes to these videos is i'm not looking for any videos to go viral i'm looking for just one comment just one person to say oh you know what they are motivated by these videos and that's all i need to keep making it i don't need because again if it, i'm sure it probably motivate some of you guys you just don't feel like they're commenting on it and that's fine as long as you get some value from this video I don't make the video for myself. I make it, yes, I do make it for myself just because I want to look back and like, yes. When you're feeling down, when you feel like, man, you know, self-doubt self kicks in, you can look back at this shit and like, get your head, get your head out of your ass. You, you can do this. Just have to focus on the now, one step at a time. And eventually you look back and like, okay, all right. We made it happen. Anyways, that's the video for you guys. Uh, Sam Kuno, Sam Get Fit. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.